Well, let me ask you another thing. Sure. You, know, you, you get here and someone just says, hey, you know what? I, it's cool that you want to create a marketing plan, but all we need is SEO. Yeah, gotcha. And all I, I need is social media. Yeah, and I, I think you know the defense or how we would answer that is you know we would go back to something that you've talked about in the past is like you know what's what's driving that decision what data do you have that uses that uh, that that has allowed you to come to that decision uh, we we look at you know marketing more as like an ecosystem you know not an individual solution you know so i don't necessarily need seo uh, seo is part of the plan you know, I don't specifically just want to focus on social media because social media affar- affects so many other pieces of it. That's why getting back to the gap assess- assessment is important because from the gap assessment, you know, we can figure out the right target. We can right- figure out the ideal buyer persona, and then we can craft messaging that can be used in SEO, can be used in social, can be used in outbound, in- inbound. You know, so for- from our perspective, um, maybe you feel like you just need SEO. But we would probably take a step back and say, you know, what's the impact of SEO on your specific business and really kind of look at the bigger picture of the ecosystem of your marketing mix, because that's really what it's all about yep. is not necessarily just moving like SEO 100 percent. You know, maybe it's moving SEO 60 percent and then you're going to push your social media 20 percent. You know, it's kind of like um, have you ever seen like a like somebody who works like an audio visual board. You know, they're constantly moving like the decibels and moving everything. It's yep. the same type of thing with with. Uh, with marketing, you know, you're, you're moving different pieces. And then, like you said before, you know, you're sort of AB testing. Oh no, trouble's a little too high. Pull back the base, you know? So we're kind of doing the same thing. So re- re- really we're kind of marketing DJs if you break it down. Yeah. I don't want to go into the whole Megan trainer. It's all about the base. <laughs> That's when the analogy just really hits the fan. <laughs> um, oh, look at the time. Oh, look at the- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I promised myself I'd never do that. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, I think one of the slogans that we have is systems, not solutions. Yep. I think that's going to be important to be in an aspect where, you know what, like this was a hard question that was asked to me and I was just like really taken back from it. Um, I remember speaking with somebody, I think it was HubSpot or whatever it was. And I, and I said, you know, well, what we want is we want really good SEO. And he goes, why? I'm like, Duh. I want to be on the first page of Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Duh. Why? He goes, why? <laughs> well, because the traffic's there and they're going to come to my website. Why? why do you want to come to your website? Because I want them to, to, you know, to, to convert and, and turn into, I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah. Okay, cool. So now I, I'm an SEO. I got you on the first page of Google. When they come to your website, what are they going to do? Do you have clear messaging? Are they yeah. going to be nurtured? Are you going to, you know what I mean? Like what yeah. happens if you don't have all your ducks in a row so that it's in a system that the SEO drives leads and then they right. get on the, to your website and they've engaged and they've got a cookie on the computer and we're nurturing them, we're nurturing yep. them and scoring them and dripping to them and educating them and converting them. And after they've been converted, delighting them and asking yep. for referrals. I'm like, I just want SEO. He's like, gotcha. Yeah. So, I mean, cool. yeah. So I think, I think I agree with you. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think, when you when you talk about inbound and outbound, I don't think that there's a right answer. I think it's 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 both. And when I come to you and I just say, "Hey, I just want one solution," I don't think the answer is correct. I think it's a system, not a solution. All right, cool. You know? cool. All right, cool. So we're going to end there. So thank you very much for joining us. Um, uh, my name is Chris Carr. I'm the CEO of Fairtech. This is Todd. He's uh, Todd Smith. He's the VP of Partner Growth. Here's the deal: a lot of people come to us and they're afraid to engage with a marketing company because they feel like they're going to be sold. Todd and I spend so much time giving out free advice, which basically means it's a free consultation. You, you schedule a meeting with us and we look at all your stuff and we tell you where basically where the holes are, where the cracks are things you never even knew. Now, if you want to work with us, that's great. If you don't, that's also great. Because you know what? I think you're going to learn so much from this experience that you'll either come back or you'll tell friends. We've been doing this for almost 19 years. And that is the, that's the, the reality of the phenomenon that's happened over and over again. So if you do want to work with us, we'd love for you to just um, go to our website or email us, emailing, email us at info at or go to contact us, schedule a consultation. I promise you it's a very painless process. Um, 
But want to thank you for joining us today. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check back often. Try to get notified for when we're doing these again. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on the other side.